How does playing favorites with your children produce disastrous results? How can a mom treat all of her children fairly and show an equal amount of love and encouragement? Well, in Moms Raising Sons to be Men, I tell the story of the twins, Jacob and Esau, and how one mother favored one twin over the other. And the disastrous results was those boys never even talked to each other for years, for, for such a long time. When we favor one child or the other, the worst thing we can do is say, why aren't you more like this sibling, or why aren't you more like that one? Be better, like the better child. Because then what we do is we develop a resentment toward one another among our siblings. Um, moms, I think that whatever we want to do in not playing favorites, the best thing that we can do is to learn to love the way God loves. Because the Bible says God loves without favoritism. And when the Sadducees, Pharisees asked Jesus, what's the priority of life? What's protos? He said, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart. That's your emotions, your soul, that's who you are. Your mind is your thoughts and your strength is with what you do. And love your neighbor as yourself. And I believe, ladies, that if we would just pursue loving God with all that we are, our love for our children would spill out as an agape love, as a love that doesn't play favorites, because we would be allowing the Lord to love our children through us. And in so doing, we bless ourselves because our kids want to come home for the holidays once they're grown. They want to be with each other. They want to bless us with their presence and fellowship because we haven't created that dissension when they're younger. So, you know, some, sometimes moms hear this and they're like, oh, I've already kind of done that with my stepkids or with my other kids. And I just want you to know that it's never too late. If God has shown you something in your life that he wants to change, uh, the beginning is to repent of that and to ask him to forgive you and show you your sin. And let's call it sin, because I think it, it's what it is. And we always want to say mistake or whatever, discretion, indiscretion, but it's sin. Um, and then ask the Lord, show me how to love you properly and then love my kids properly through, through my love for you.